In today's morning rounds, how age can affect your body's response to seasonal allergies. More than 50 million Americans have had allergies at some point in their lives. Symptoms can change as you grow older. This morning, almost one third of the country is dealing with medium to high levels of pollen. Our Dr. Tara Narula is here with how you can cope. Good morning. Or not cope. Yes, yes exactly. Good exactly. morning. So age impacts seasonal allergies, huh? Well, as I get older, what's going to happen to me? Well, we're learning that there is an interaction between age and allergies. And so while you can develop allergies at any age, there are really two kind of peaks. The first being in early childhood, so kind of elementary school years, and then the second in early adulthood. But once you get over 60, and I don't know if you're over 60, John, but He's not. <laughs> yeah, once you get over 60, <laughs> knocking on the door, <laughs> He's not. your immune system starts to decline. And so you're less likely to develop allergies, more likely to get infections. So there are other things that can change during you know, age that can affect allergies, things like hormones. So for instance, younger boys uh, tend to have more allergies as they hit puberty, they kind of outgrow them, whereas girls seem to develop more allergies in adolescence. What's the connection <laughs> between allergies and hormones? We're not sure, but we do think that estrogen has some role in kind of the histamine uh, interaction. And histamine, we know, is what is part of the allergic reaction mm -hmm. cycle. Uh, in addition, environment can change. So you can move from one area to another. That can trigger, trigger your allergies. And some people say, how did I get allergies in my adulthood? I never had them as a kid. Well, maybe you had them as a kid and you didn't know or they weren't diagnosed. Um, the best way to really tell is to get to an allergist and have either a skin test or a blood test to really definitively tell you if you have allergies. Or yeah, not. so this happened in our house. <clears throat> the question of, is it allergies or just, is it just a cold? How, right. What are the telltale signs? Well, a lot of parents can struggle with that because there can be similarities. So first, it's rare to develop allergies if you're under two, seasonal allergies as a child. Second, you want to look at duration. Are the symptoms lasting a couple days, more likely a cold, or weeks to months, more likely allergies? Track them. Do they happen at the same time every year? Or your kid is okay in the house, and then the minute they go outside, they suddenly start coughing or sneezing. In addition, if there's fever, more likely to be a cold. You can look at the, the secretions. If the mucus is clear or watery, it's more likely allergies. And importantly, if, if your child can Complains a lot of itching, itching eyes, itching nose. That really tends to be more of a hallmark of allergies. Um, kids can also have like lack of sleep, fatigue, trouble at school. So what can you do to avoid some of the most intense allergic reactions? Well, the best thing to do is to start early. So you want to prep, you know, and start taking your medications two weeks before allergy season starts. Take it before? Yes, two oh. weeks before, before your body starts to create mm -hmm. this reaction. Um, there are nasal steroids, which are really the first line of treatment. There's also other drugs, antihistamines. Um, you can get allergy shots, immunotherapy, but you can work with an allergist to create a plan. And then there's practical things. So close your windows, use your air conditioner, make sure that you wash your clothes, your hair, your body after you come inside. Bathe regularly. Yes, bathe regularly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, always a good idea, right, Gail? Always, always. <laughs> Hygiene, very important. Thank you. Yeah. Wear yes. sunglasses, wear mm -hmm. a hat. Um, so there are a lot of practical things that you can do to help. All right. All right. Dr. Taryn, <laughs> thank you. Thank you.